Good morning, everybody. It cheers. <laughs> it cheers. It is Monday, July 18th. Or a gray in my cup. It's a brand new week. I always get excited on Monday. I don't know why people hate Mondays. I love Mondays. It's kind of like the promise of a fresh week. No? I guess because most people return to work on Monday and I don't have to deal with that. I'm very happy. Okay, well, where to start? I haven't vlogged in two weeks and that's okay. I don't think I will... Uh, I probably will do another vlog before my visitors get here, but as of August 1st, I will be vlogging every day, so I don't think I'll do too many vlogs in between now and then. Probably just one. But yesterday morning, I woke up to this, da da da, 1,000 followers on Instagram. Thank you very much. Um, I know it's, um... I've been on Instagram for a while, but I just started posting this daily thing and all of a sudden it started growing. But uh, last week, Marta, I'm not going to pronounce her last name, but she's Marry Me Small Art on Instagram. And I think that's also her name on YouTube, but I will post all her link below. Anyways, Marta, sweet, wonderful Marta, who's an awesome artist. I've been following her for quite some time. She does beautiful mixed media pieces. Uh, she gave me a shout out on Instagram last week and all of a sudden it's like bing, 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 bing. <laughs> people started following me, which was so cool. So cool. So thank you so much, Marta. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say something else, but I can't. Not now. Anyways, so I'm very grateful. Thank you all of you that are following me on Instagram. It's just a fun platform. I love Instagram because it's quick. Unlike Facebook. <laughs> I don't like Facebook. Sorry, Facebook. Um, and I know Instagram belongs to Facebook, but I love the platform because it's quick. It's like photos. So you just scroll. There's no like too much verbiage to read. Uh, I don't have time to go through Facebook every day. I don't know. It's just something. I'm, I'm anyway, enough about that, but I like Instagram. So yay, that was fun. Uh, so like I said, or did I say it? I don't remember. Probably not. I started this video a few times. Um, I have my visitors. Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Short term memory problem. Um, I have my visitors that are coming in three weeks. So Lucy is the first one to arrive. She's arriving on the 7th. Super excited. I can't wait. Uh, and then the rest of the girls, which is Heather, Sylvia, and Samantha, who are all all these four girls are part of the Craft Shack community, um, but they all have YouTube videos, so uh, channels. So they're coming in a few days later and oh my God. So I'm trying to take a break for these two weeks that um, Lucy's gonna be here with the other uh, ladies. So I'm trying to finish everything that I have going. So that's why I haven't put up and a lot of videos lately, but um, it'll pick up afterwards, uh, I promise you. But for now, I'm just like, I'm trying to get everything done because I would like to take a few days off. I mean, the video, the, the, the vlogs will be uploaded probably the next morning of the day. So let's say I vlog on the 7th, it'll be up on the 8th because what I intend to do is get up really early in the morning, come in the studio, do my daily art, and then do a very quick edit of these vlogs. Um, so that's my goal and then publish uh, as soon as we can. So um, yeah, that's the intention. Or if I feel up to it and I'm not too mm, tired, is the word <laughs> we'll, we'll just settle for tired um i might edit so that it uploads overnight so that you can have it early in the morning i think that would be the best solution i'm just thinking out loud here sorry okay <laughs> so um i have like i said continued my daily arts practice i don't see myself stopping anytime soon i'm just uh sometimes i have to get myself out of the studio like actually physically saying okay Cece you need to go eat which is very unusual for me because food is for me food is my thing 
I eat. <laughs> I like to eat, especially breakfast. Breakfast food is my favorite. Breakfast is my favorite meal, bar none. Um, so for me not to want to go and sit at the table and, and eat my toasts and whatever is really big. So I don't think I'm going to stop anytime soon. In fact, I have a little project in the works and once it's, um, once I have everything set, I'll share that with you, but it has to do with my daily arts. But anyways, enough of that. I'm going to flip that camera around and I'm going to show you all my pieces now. First tea. <laughs> okay, now. So I'm going to try and proceed by chronological order, although it doesn't really make much difference. But this is a cityscape that I did. Um, <laughs> it looks like the building is on fire, but that wasn't planned. <laughs> um, anyways, I like this piece. It wasn't all that popular on Instagram, but I happen to love that piece. I love cityscapes, of course, and I had a fun time doing going around the windows. This is not masked, by the way. I did this uh, all with a brush, but uh, yeah. And I, I like the tall, dark trees in the foreground. I don't know. It's just fun. It speaks to me. Then I did this piece, <laughs> which was barf on a page first. And then I salvaged it by adding some sort of cosmic thing going on. I don't know. I'm not well versed into astronomy and whatever, but uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. I love the way it turned out though. And um, I don't know if you noticed, but look at the texture. This is rough texture, uh, it, rough grain, I'm sorry. It's watercolor paper. It is 140 pound weight, uh, but oh, I just love how the watercolor uh, reacts to this page. So awesome. I love this part here. I love the way the colors dance on this paper. It's just absolutely a pleasure uh, to play with that. I really like it. And then this one I like as well. I was playing with um, how to create a halo around shapes. And uh, I think the only part that I really like is this, well, that I really like. I like the whole piece, but this one especially, I really like. So I'm gonna play more. I'm gonna experiment more with this technique. This is also on rough grain. See how gorgeous this is? Oh, I love, love, love how the colors uh, react to this paper. Just awesome. This was done with Senelier paints as well. Uh, this, I don't know, it's fun. Uh, there's a bit of gold paint right there. No, it's very simple, nothing too spectacular, but it's a blue tree. Blue trees are interesting, <laughs> as they don't exist in nature, but in my head, and that's okay. <laughs> Again, on rough texture. I just, uh, I actually just bought a huge sheet of rough grain watercolor paper, but 300 pounds. I cannot wait to play with this. And I don't even know if I'm going to cut it. It's like three by four or something like that. It's big. Okay, so this started a trio of loose painting flowers. And this one is by far my favorite of all of them. Uh, I love the colors on this. And forget the lighting. I don't know what's going on here. Um, don't ask me what type of flowers they are. I don't know. I just make flower-like shapes. And that's what I like. <laughs> but this one turned out well. This is um, satin grain. So very different. You can see the, the, the difference on how the paint reacts. See here? It tends to fade. And on here, it tends to pool and not travel all that much. Anyways, I just... I love playing with all kinds of paper. So here's another one. Now this one I posted on Instagram before I added the stamens. I think that's what they're called. Um, so nobody saw the final result. This is the first time I'm showing this. But another fun 
loose watercolor painting floral and this uh, completed the trio they look like roses I guess these ones I can probably say they are kind of roses sort of but uh, yeah that was fun and so this piece is one that I recuperated <laughs> Very, very abstract, very futuristic. I th I think the best part of all this painting is the gray here happening. Uh, they look like structures, but not. I like that effect. Um, a lot of people have said that these are like glass bubbles. That's kind of like the effect I was going for, but it's, it's a cityscape. So, whoops, a city inside glass bubbles. But this was, okay, <laughs> confession time. This was my first try at this. That's what I wanted to make. And what's underneath is what had happened. And it wasn't working. See, there's a flower here, there's a flower there, there's a flower there. There's a couple of flowers here. There was one here. Um, so I put it to the side and I'm like, I'm not going to throw that out uh, for sure, you know. But, um, yeah. That's how it turned out. And this is silver or white gold, I guess. No, it's silver. No. Uh, it's the Kuretake. Yeah, silver pearl or something like that. Watercolor paint. But I, I like this piece. I do. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> when my brother saw this painting, he said, Wow. What kind of drugs are you on? <laughs> it was quite funny. I don't do drugs, by the way. Um, maybe I should imagine the colors that would come out of my work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these are pink hurricane tree-like and uh, blue palm trees, turquoise. And the seagrass is much bigger than the trees. And they're in the background. <laughs> Nothing makes sense, but I like it. I love the colors. This is one of my favorite combo of colors. Anyways, again on uh, rough texture. It's just oh, so much fun to do. The next piece made a lot of people laugh. Some people, I think, were scared of it. <laughs> a lot of you have said it kind of looks like a fish. And you wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> It's only after a few people pointed it out that I saw it. If I had made the mouth different, I think it would have looked like a fish from up front. Um, so this was supposed to be a wreath of flowers like these, like, you know, I started with this. I, I made kind of like this, this, and then this. And then uh, I also made this. I don't know why I went down. And then I started adding more details here. So this, this was not there. This was there. That was there. So far it was okay. And then I added these and these. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> Need to bring that in. So I made the swirls. I, this was not there in this either. But when I made the swirl, I thought, oh boy. <laughs> This starting to look like a face so I just went with it I added some eyes and eyebrows and then I filled in the hair I don't know what you can call this but it's interesting <laughs> um, this is a very futuristic painting whoops my light just Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I have to shut down this light. Sorry about that. I'm going to try and flip this around. Um, this is very modern, futuristic. Again, another piece that I kind of salvaged, but there wasn't much going on in the background, so it was easier to do. But um, this is gold paint. It's yellow gold from Kuritaki. Uh, when I say about... When I talk about... Um, Gansai Tembi by Kuretake's metallic paints. This is it. Here, I'll show you the box. That's how they come in. Oops. Uh, 
like so. So that's the set. It's called Starry Colors. And you've got blue gold, red gold, yellow gold. I use the yellow gold on that piece. Champagne gold, white gold, light gold. And I love them. But they're kind of opaque, so you have to know that. <clears throat> but it's fine. I like it. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I like it. Now this, the next piece is probably my most popular so far, and I happen to like it as well. Um, they're not cherry blossoms, flowers, because that's not what they look like, but the branches do look like cherry tree branches. But I just doodle. So uh, here's what happened when I did this. Um, I'll talk to you about my process on this one because it's quite funny. I wanted to make flowers again, surprise, but um, I decided to splash the colors and for some reason I just put it to the side. I don't know, maybe it wasn't working to my liking or I was doing something else at the same time. And then once it was dry, I loved the colors and I thought, I and then I started seeing uh, tinier objects. So I just started doodling and actually the first piece that I doodle on this is this flower right here and then I added the sleeve and started following the other globs of color and slowly but surely this piece was developed I really like this one all right now I started the series of very very simple flowers which I call my pretties and so this is the first one I do apologize for the lighting I hope this is Good enough for you guys. Um, very simple yet very stylish flowers if I do say so myself. I really like this. It's fun to do. Just experimenting with the different color combinations. Not targeting a specific one. Uh, just like playing and adding little globs of colors. Of course ladders because you know, our girl can never have too much bladder. And then this is what I did yesterday. So this is my second in the pretties series. This one, I did the opposite. I thought, I wonder what happened if I were to splatter a dark color and then try to use these splatters to create flowers. And I love how... Look at this one. I love how this turned out. It's so much fun to see the splatters being incorporated with the colors. And that, I find it creates something very organic. But I like this piece. So that's it. This was as far as Sunday. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go from Monday to the next, next following Sunday. So that way I know exactly where I stopped. Because I have to search to see w uh, what the last piece was that I vlogged about. So uh, if I go from Monday to Sunday, then it'll be easier for me to keep track of. But I like this piece too. Anyways, that is it for my past two weeks worth of daily art. So as you can see, my art is all over the place. I haven't settled on a particular style, or at least I don't think I have one. Um, I like all styles. I like traditional. I like abstract. I like whimsical. No, I don't do a lot of whimsical. I like simple. I like com complicated. Um, maybe one day I'll find a style. Maybe not. Does it matter? I don't think so. Your thoughts, please, below. The last thing I wanted to show you is this piece. I'm going to flash on the screen very quickly. Ooh. See how reflective it is? I use toxic paint. <laughs> Those on the Craft Shack community will uh, know what that is, but it's a different color. This piece is something that I did on video for you guys, for all of you. It is my process on how to fix a watercolor piece that has gone wrong. A watercolor please, please, watercolor please, a watercolor piece that you do not like. Doesn't mean that it's ugly, doesn't mean that it's wrong. 
it just means that you're not happy with it, uh, there's a way to fix it. Watercolor is a very, very different medium than uh, acrylic paints or even oil paint because when you uh, work with paints, you can always cover up quite easily. Uh, the quickest way is, of course, to gesso over everything and start all over again or even cover up uh, over some dry paint. It'll still be okay. But with watercolor, it's always reacting to water. So unless you are going super heavy on the pigment and try to cover up a particular area, you might be able to do it. But eventually the paper kind of like becomes, it loses its, its um, ability to absorb stuff and then it creates more problems. Anyways, so I have prepared this video so I can show you how I deal with that like the pieces that I don't like um, however I have a lot of footage I've been trying to edit this since last week this was done on the 15th of July not last week Friday I guess no yes no um, the 15th <laughs> um, but there's a lot of footage because while I was thinking through the process, I forgot to turn off the camera, so I have to weed out all the unwanted parts. And uh, But it'll be up sometime this week, for sure. And that's it. I'm going to tell you. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Uh, I picked this up at an art store. It's called Watercolor Iridescent Medium by Winsor & Newton. I can't wait to play with that. I'm very curious if to see if it's going to drag the color. They say you can mix it with the color, like directly with the wet color, or apply it once it's dry. Like over, especially over dark backgrounds. I'm gonna play with that and show you what it looks like. In the meantime, please be well. Thank you so much for watching. If uh, you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps and subscribe if you haven't really done so. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below and I will see, see you later. Bye! Oops. He started going. Ooh.